Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about epidemiology. Epidemiology is a big subject. You can have a huge completely total course on acute epidemiology. So I'm going to tell you about kind of four and five minutes talking about epidemiology. So you're going to see I'm talking about very brief about what is epidemiology and some important terminologies used in epidemiology. Now epidemiology is a study of diseases where the disease is occurring, when the disease is occurring and the place of the disease, time of the disease. That's what I've told. When and where it is occurring and what disease uh, that is occurring. To keep track on everything from history to uh, present times. Where the disease has occurred previously and then getting the data from these different uh, regions and try to make a algorithm and try to create a prediction that in future when that disease is going to occur again because this is the most recent field of epidemiology to predict the type of diseases whether, whether the disease is going to come in next year or not or which year that disease will, will be coming to hit us again to find that this is the idea of epidemiology and that's why it is important to understand the disease, not only the disease causing agent, because epidemiology don't deal with the disease causing agent or it does not uh, doing any re uh, going for any research of that organism, but it is knowing the disease very well. When the disease is occurring, where the disease is occurring, and to get this idea, and after getting the idea, it is constructing that the when the disease is going to occur again in the future. So that's why it's important for the prediction purpose, guys. So, in epidemiology, what we usually, most important thing to notice and know is a graph. Uh, because epidemiology is obviously, it's a list of data, use of statistical input is very, very important. And this is where biostatistics is being used vigorously throughout the time, when the disease is occurring, where the disease is occurring. So, here, let me put the time. Time. In years, we can write here because usually they put in years or 10 years, 5 years because the data collected is, uh, is the range of data collected is from a huge uh, time duration to put them. They sometimes put 5 year, 10 year gap between each unit. But uh, let's say here for our understanding purpose, we simply write at years. And here writing as uh, uh, the disease and the percentage of the disease actually. This is occurring. So disease occurrence or occurrence of disease, percent occurrence of the disease of uh, per 1 lakh population. So it's the occurrence of the disease per 1 lakh population if we write in the y axis but in the x axis write at time. So the duration and the percent occurrence of uh, the disease in per 1 lakh of population. Okay, so now if we write it here, if I uh, make the graph and I'm going to tell you the different version of the disease. And let's say in this time uh, gap also, uh, I'm just putting different regions also. Okay, so if I put different region, let's say uh, Europe, uh, so let me, let me write some of them. So let's say this, this, I'm just writing Europe, Asia and Africa for example. I'm just taking these three things. Uh, here in my hand. Okay, so let me write it this way. Let's say this is Europe. Let me write it, it here. Europe, Asia, Africa. Okay, let me say this about three different continents we are dealing with here. And uh, by looking at this table, what we can tell that particular disease, what we are looking now. So it's a profiling of a single disease. Now that disease is occurring most in Africa and less in uh, in Asia, most in Asia and, and then least in Europe. Okay. So now uh, we are going to understand some terminologies. Okay. Now first terminology I am going to tell you is prevalence. Prevalence of the disease. Now prevalence of the disease means the disease that is already been present in the continent and new occurrence of the disease because sometimes we get the disease present throughout a longer period of time then we get some new outbreak of the disease so prevalence carry everything prevalence carry the disease occurred earlier in that region that the percentage of the disease occurred earlier in the region plus 
the new outbreak of that disease of the same disease in that region it is called the prevalence of that disease now i remind you every time that we are talking about one disease and this whole profiling is of one disease okay so that disease occurred earlier in the region plus it is newly occurring in that region combined together called as prevalence so let me write previous plus present or new occurrence both things are called in prevalence okay so let's say in this case the prevalence i'm drawing so let's say yeah or, or let me draw it like this so let's say this complete section from this bottom to the top is the prevalence of the disease now by looking at it we can tell the prevalence of the disease is highest in africa but the new outbreak is less because this red thing are the new outbreak remember that we have already told this is the new outbreak of the disease but okay so the new outbreak is less in africa but the prevalence of the disease is more in africa similarly the new outbreak are uh, in asia is higher so the disease is taking a toll in asia by looking at this graph we can tell so we can tell many important informations by looking at this data by looking at the graph and tables now the second thing prevalence of the disease we know that and then the new outbreak that we have already talk about the outbreak of the disease is this red things which is a new outbreak or which is which is just spreading right now at this moment when we are doing this important thing when, when we are talking about the time right so this is a new outbreak or newly outbreak of that disease in different regions these two things might not be the same prevalence of the disease of area if if suppose the area is having higher prevalence of the disease it doesn't mean it will have the new outbreak of the disease higher like this africa we can see the prevalence of the disease is more but the newly outbreak is less so it depends upon the type of infection occurring in the area and the protective measures that are taken against that infection in the area for example let's say in africa the prevalence is more that's why they are taking more uh, preventive measures to protect the disease that's why the new outbreak of the disease is less here but let's say here in asia the prevalence of the disease is very less so they are not uh, taking it seriously but now the new outbreak is taking it because they are having least protective measures against it now it makes sense right so these are the two important things now we am going to talk about three major terminologies first of all i am going to talk about uh, sporadic 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 disease means uh, a disease occurred in a particular area but very less very less a particular type of disease is seen among uh, a kind of population but it is very less and it is obviously fixed at a particular area not spreading from one continent to another continent it's a kind of fixed very less so very low prevalence is very low outbreak is also very low so that is called the sporadic disease we are don't we we don't uh, get that much threatened by the sporadic because it's not that dangerous second thing is endemic endemic disease means a disease is rising it's sequentially rising in a limited area so though the area is limited it is not traveling from one continent to another continent it's not tra traveling but the disease dose is increasing a little bit so it's kind of uh, a matter of our consideration because it's kind of increasing in the dose it's also uh, also what you can say uh, stabilized or uh, so it is increasing but in one continent in one continent or one region for example now the from now on the third important thing that i am going to talk about is epidemic now epidemic you probably heard this name a many million times now epidemic means a disease is rising considerably and it is killing a huge amount of population at a particular time we are not 
uh, controlling. We can't control that because the new outbreak of the disease is very much high in continents. Okay, it's high in continents. So it's kind of not continent in, in kind of an area, but here in epidemic means it is going large. It is taking many lives and also it is large in a continent. So this is epidemic, which is a dangerous condition, guys. Now the last and foremost thing here that I'm going to talk about, the most important, most devastating one, that is pandemic. Right? And epidemic is actually uh, called as uh, if if uh, this uh, the particular type of disease goes against the prevalence measures the particular measures then we call it an epidemic now pandemic is a thing pandemic is the most dangerous part of the epidemiology and pandemic means a disease is occurring a new outbreaks are so uh, seen and those new outbreaks are taking many lives in different continents so you can see epidemic occurs in one continent Though it's large, but in one continent it's stabilized. But pandemic is spreading so much that it is occurring in several continents at the same time. So let's say Africa, uh, Africa, Europe, Asia, every continent are getting affected and the disease is spreading like a dangerous uh, fast. So that thing is called pandemic. Okay, so these are the things. So, so between com continents, right? Or one or, uh, so more than one continent. More then one continent is occurring it is called pandemic of the disease so they, these are the major uh, kind of uh, terminologies i want you to know about epidemiology i'm not going i'm not a specialist of epidemiology i'm not going to tell much but these are the things that you should know about epidemiology before going into that we are having different measures nowadays to predict what is going to be the outcome of the disease in future right for example by screening by looking at this graph uh, for for let's say 10 or 20 or 30 years throughout the time 10 or years is very less but more than 40 50 60 years we can tell that where when again in future that disease is to go, is going to come we may not be right because it's a prediction guys using or based upon the statistical input and statistical measures but it is a good blessing for us so that we can prepare ourselves for that disease to combat against that disease again in future. So that's why it is very important to study epidemiology and that's it guys. Thank you.